Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My dear students, Assalamu Alaikum, and welcome to all in my virtual class. I am Shah Jalal Ahmed Pial, lecturer in Finance and Banking, Milestone College, Uttara. I hope all are fine and well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Dear students, let's start the class. Today's topics concept of projects. This is the very important topics for every finance students. When you invest your long term fund, you must select a profitable project. When you invest your capital, you will face some questions as like, is the prof uh, project profitable or non-profitable? Is the project is more risky or less risky? This project is rejected for negative NPV and also you will be invest in single project or multiple projects. Everywhere you will find the project. Every financial investment decisions are related in project. So when you invest your fund in long term long term investment you must select a profitable project so you have to proper knowledge about projects for a better investment decisions project means a part of a planned work or activity of an investment decisions that ends within a specific period of time and is intent to achieve a specific business purpose. Look at the image. This is an image of a investment projects when you invest in a project if the project is profitable your cash inflow increasing day by day this is a profitable investment projects where you return a better cash inflow Here, a piece of planned work or an activity that is finished over a period of time and intend to achieve a particular purpose. This is called project. Also, an investment project is made before investment itself. An investment project requires careful planning and includes detailed descriptions of expenditures and income. A project must have cash inflows and cash outflows. Cash inflows mean your income and cash outflows mean your investment or your fund. There are two major types of project in capital budgetings. Number one, independent project. And number two, mutual exclusive projects. Independent projects. These projects, cash inflow and outflow, does not depend on others' projects. Independent project 
give you freedom or free investment decisions. Here you invested your fund more than one project or all projects if the projects are profitable for you. A project that is not part of or depend on any other projects. Independent projects are projects whose cash flows are independent of each other. A project whose accepts or rejection is independent of the acceptance or rejection of other projects. In this case, it is possible to invest in multiple profitable projects by applying capital budgeting techniques. Look at the image. First one, stock market. Second one, shipping business and third, real estate business if stock market is profitable for you you must invest the profit uh, stock market and shipping business is also profitable for you you can invest your fund in shipping and last real estate business is profitable for you you can invest your fund also real estate business so we can see that in independent project you can choose all the investment sectors or project if the sectors or projects is profitable for you Example of an independent project. Mexico company has stuck up 40 million at its disposal and the management is considering the following projects for investments. There are three projects for investment, project A, project B and project C initial investment that means cash outflow or fund project a taka 10 lakhs project b taka 15 lakhs and project c also taka 15 lakhs need present value that means a return of your project and converted it present value project a from 20 lakhs project b 15 lakhs and project C 21 lakhs. Internal rate of return 25%, 15%, and 20%. That means return. Cost of capital 12%, 12%, and 12%. Independent projects are once being evaluated that could potentially all the selected as long their projects CFs will Procedure a positive NPV or generate and IRR greater than farms 100, 100 rate. 100 rate means expected return. The company should accept all projects because NPV of all projects is positive and IRR also higher than the cost of capital so this is the independent projects you can choose all the projects because npb and irr is positive and higher than to cost of capital 
of this project. Next, mutual exclusive projects. These projects are differ from the independent projects. If the project is mutually exclusive, it means the company can select any one of the projects. It cannot invest simultaneously in all projects. One example, if project A and B are mutually exclusive, you can choose project A or B, but you cannot choose both. Sometimes there are several mutually exclusive projects and you can choose only one from the group. Here is a example of mutual exclusive project. There are three investable sector. Number one, stock market. Number two, shipping business. And number three, real estate business. Stock market is profitable. Shipping also profitable. And real estate also profitable. But you can choose only one sector for investment you can choose real estate business then you cross or reject shipping business and stock market because mutual exclusive projects you can choose only one sector for investing your fund This is an example of mutually exclusive projects in mathematically. Same amount previous examples. Here also project A profitable and rate of return higher than cost of capital. Project B NPB positive and rate of return also higher than cost of capital and C same. But you can choose only one project. You can choose that project. This project you will return higher return and NPB is higher. If the project are mutually exclusive, it means the company can select any one of the project in such situations. The company should select or accept project A because its NPP and IRR are higher than other projects. So, students, I hope you are all understood about projects and it is very important for you in your finance terms okay thanks to all stay with us goodbye